Hello there YouTubers, how's it going? Well, guess what? I got a black box here. And I really wonder what's stored in here. Well, you know what? A few days ago I saw some Maxo cassettes from 1986 or 87, I don't know, should be from that time on a Swedish auction site. And guess what? I brought them. But the thing is that they're new. I mean, they haven't ever been used. But let's find out the truth. It's time to do an unboxing. This is my real first unboxing video. Let's see. Okay. Just take a look, they are brand new, can you believe it, from 1986 until now, they never used it, well, <laughs> as you can see, it's the UDS-90, normal position, and they're basically NOS, and that means new old stock, I guess. That's how you can call them. You can see it's type 1 normal position. It's Supac and they are and in total there should be more than 70 cassettes in this box. Around 74 or 75, I'm not sure. As you can see it's made in Japan. So important thing for me. Actually, these cassettes look so nice that I almost don't even want to use them. <laughs> but of course, I'll use some of them. But not all of them, of course. Because, you can see I also have a bunch of cassettes in here. They have been used. It's, this is the newer ones. UD CD 90. They say it's digital ready. This is a typical 90s issue. They call everything CD or digital compatible just to sell them, but I guess they even had so much success back in the 90s because unfortunately the cassettes were already outdated in the 90s and that's a sad thing actually because cassettes are so much better in CDs and they do last a lot compared to CDs. This is how the newer one, the UD CD 90 looks, this must be from the end of the 90s. But believe it or not, it sounds pretty great. I mean, they are great. Decent tapes for being modern. But of course, nothing's better than these tapes. The Maxell UDS-90 from the 80s. Isn't it wonderful? I guess I'll store some of them for the future and I'll probably use only a very few of them. Because they do look so nice and I'm very happy, but I paid a lot of money for these cassettes, I paid only 1000 Swedish crowns, and that's quite a lot. But it was worth it. And yeah, I recently counted them, and they are exactly 74 pieces. There are 10 pieces in each box, and 4 pieces over here. Anyway, guys, I haven't made a lot of videos lately because I've been very busy, and I'm still busy. So if you like my videos, please subscribe and all that. And don't worry, I, will, I won't ever stop making videos, even, even though I don't really have time to make them right now. But in the future, when I have time, I'll be making quite a few videos, as much as I can. Alright, until next time, cheers, and have a nice day.